Hello, my name is George Asaf. I am PhD student at Brandenburg Technical University. My supervisor is Professor Monica Heiner. I will talk today about efficient unfolding of colored between nets using interval decision diagrams. The outline of my talk includes, first, I will explain why colored between nets are powerful modeling approach. After that, I will speak about state of the art and I will introduce the problem. And then I will introduce IDD or interval decision diagrams as a solution for the problem. And I will introduce their basic principles. After that, I will uh, explain our unfolding algorithm using interval decision diagrams. And finally, I will present our experimental results and the future work. So, colored between nets have powerful modeling capabilities. So, I'm going to show you the uh, some of these capabilities using some colored between net models. So, the first model, uh, this model uh, describes the uh, connection between set of cities. This kind of problem can be mapped into directed graph. So, the connection between two nodes can be described as a one tubule. For example. The connection between node A and node D can be described as a tuple AD, while the bidirectional connection between the node E and node B can be described by two tubules. Uh, the first one is AP and the next one is PA. After that, we need to uh, define the color definitions we need for this model. So we simply need a simple color set called nodes, which encode the cities or the graph nodes. After that, we need to define a product color set, which is matrix. It's a product color set on nodes, nodes. And we finally need to define a subset color set to describe the connections of the graph. And here we can create such uh, or define such uh, color set using uh, constraining the uh, matrix color set by a Boolean expression which describes the connections between nodes. And after that, we need to define the variables we need. And here we define two variables A and B on the color set nodes. And finally, we need to define color functions we need. And uh, here we define one color function called is connected. This color function return true if there is a connection between node A and node B. And we simply need one place and one transition. After that, we assign the place node to the color set nodes. And we initialize this place with one, uh, with one token of the color A. After that, we assign the variables to the arcs. And here we uh, assign the variable A on the this arc and the variable B on the lower arc. After that, we add the guard to the transition, which is uh, called the function is connected on the variable A, B. And we can also define the color dependent trait function, uh, which assign the rate function mass action k1 if the uh, variable a equal a capital and variable b equal b capital. Here we have two colored models uh, where we use guards on uh, different positions. So for example, this colored continuous between net model which describes 2D diffusion in space. So the first guard used to specify the initial marking of the place S, which uh, assign 100 tokens in the middle of the grid, while the under guard used to constrain the reactions using one uh, neighborhood function uh, over the variable X, Y, A, and B. And the another example is colored stochastic between it model called the fruit salad model, where we used card on the arcs to specify the uh, tokens which can be moved from 
the place to the transition. Colored battery nets are in use for wide range of applications covering natural engineering and life sciences. Currently, most analysis and simulation techniques require unfolding colored battery net models into plain battery net models. So, the unfolding step tends to be time consuming. For example, when we have a scalable model for like 2D diffusion in space, actually this model is scaled by the grid size. And when we adjust the grid size, for example, to 10 and unfold this colored battery net model, we will obtain the unfolded battery net model in this form like a grid. Actually, the core problem of efficient unfolding is to, de to determine the transition instances. For instance, all bindings of the involved variables over Rs and the transition guard. Actually, this is constraint satisfaction problem or CSB where the range of variable X, Y, A and B is from 1 to D. To solve this CSB problem, Interval decision diagrams are a perfect choice. So, interval decision diagrams are directed as cyclic graphs to encode interval logic functions in the form of symbolic data structure. They have two types of nodes, non-terminal nodes in the form of ellipses like x1, x2, and terminal ones in form of boxes. For example, the terminal node 0 and 1. Non-terminal nodes may have an arbitrary number of outgoing arcs labeled with an interval of natural numbers in the form of this interval. Here, A is included to the interval while the upper bound B is not included. For example, in this uh, interval decision diagram, we have this outgoing arc, the 6 is included in the interval, 8 it's not. So the IDD basic algorithm, the set of all paths going from the root node to the terminal node 1 describes all solution of the given constraint problem. Typically, one path encodes more than one solution. Thus, we can easily pick all CSB solutions from the constraint IDD. For example, we have this Boolean expression x1 greater than or equal 8 or x1 belongs to this interval and x2 greater than 0. So we start with ordering the variables and here we choose to start with variable x1 then variable x2. And we can directly draw an outgoing arc from node x1 to the, to the terminal node 1, labeled with 8 to infinity. And this is part of the solution. Some intermediate screenshots. For example, we have one outgoing arc from node x1 to the terminal node 0. And this indicates that everything for the value of x1 less than 6 will not be part of the final solution. And here one final solution and everything is starting from the root node x1 and to the terminal node 1 will be part of the solution. And here we have three path solutions. The first path is from x1 with value of 6 to x2 starting from 1 to infinity and x1 equal to 7 and x2 starting from 1 and the last path is x1 equal to 8 to infinity will, will be uh, part of the solution. IDD can be reduced if interval partitions labeling the outgoing arcs of each non-terminal node are reduced. For example, the interval 6 to 7 and 7 to 8 can be reduced to one interval from 6 to 8. 
each non-terminal node has at least two different children, and there exist no two nodes with isomorphic subgraphs. For example, we can reduce the previous IDD uh, tree by merging these two uh, subintervals to one interval from 6 to 8, and we can merge both nodes x1, x2 with the outgoing arcs. I'm going to briefly explain the IDD-based unfolding algorithm, which consists of four steps. The first step is a preparation step, which includes registration of constants, color sets, variables, and functions. Next, unfold the places and determine initial marking. This may involve CSB if we have subset mechanism and to determine initial marking. After that, unfold transitions and their adjacent arcs and add the result to the unfolded net. And finally, add all unfolded places which are involved in the transition unfoldings to the unfolded net. This implicitly removes isolated places. So the entire code is given in the paper. You can go to the paper for more uh, details. I will explain the unfolding algorithm using this example. Here we have the color definitions and we have two color sets. The first color set is sub-integer color sets consisting of the integers 1, 8, and from 3 to 6, 10, 9, 11, and from 20 to 23. And we have enum color set called AB with three colors A, C, and D. And we have two variables, X is defined on the color set CS and Y is defined on the color set AB. Now we assign the color set to the places P1, P2, P3. So we have color set uh, AB is assigned to the place P3 and color set CS is assigned to the places P2 and P1. And we have the place P3 is initialized with one token of all colors and also the place P1 with one token of all colors of the color set CS. So we have here 13 tokens and here we have uh, three tokens. Uh, as we see here, we have no guards or no constraints in this colored model. So we can easily get the unfolded net and it will be in this form. Now let's add guard to this uh, Petri net model. And this guard says x equal or greater than 6 and x less than or equal to 10 and y equal to 8. So now the encoding of the entire CS uh, will be like this. And this includes uh, 1 and from 3 to 6 and from 8 to 11 and from 20 to 23. Now constraining this color set to x greater than or equal 6 will give 6 and from 8 to 11 and from 20 to 23. Now constraining the color set to x less than or equal 10 will give 1 and from 3 to 6 and from 8 to 10. Now we merge the previous IDD trees for x greater than or equal to 6 and x less than or equal to 10 using AND operator. And this will give uh, 6 and integers from uh, 8 to 10. Now we encode the color set AB, which is enum A, C, D, or uh, its uh, integer from 0 to 2. And this will give the integers from 0 to 2. Now we constrain the color set AB to the variable Y equal to A. And this will give only 0. And now we merge the result of X greater than or equal to 6 and X 
less than or equal to 10 with y equal 8 using and operator and we get the final IDD tree which, uh, which consists of two solution or two paths. The first path is y equal 0 or a and x equal 6 and the second path is y equal 0 or we encode it to enum as a and uh, x from 8 to 10 and we get four solutions for x and y this will give uh, will give the uh, unfolded petri net uh, representation and we have four uh, solution for the uh, idd for uh, constraining the the uh, transition which are t0 10 t0 8 t0 9 and t0 6 We compared our IDD unfolding with an unfolding employing the popular constraint solver library G-code. And we used 22 uh, PNML models from a model checking contest. And these models are grouped in two groups. The first group requires no substantial unfolding time. And the second group requires substantial unfolding time. We used also two biological test cases from our own Carol Petrinet collection, and uh, these test cases are 3D diffusion and processilator. So I'm going to start with the uh, MCC models, and I will start with the bridges and vehicles. This model, model, uh, this uh, model describes a bridge, uh, a lane bridge with limited capacity and it's used by two types of vehicles. Colored models has 15 places and 11 transition and 57 arcs. So the result of unfolding for this uh, model, uh, as we see here that uh, G-code finishes early the unfolding. And as we see also here that this uh, model requires no substantial unfolding time. The second model also from MCC and uh, this model called family reunion and this model describes the reunification process. This model has 104 places and 66 transitions and 198 arcs and this model is scaled by the number of legal residents. As we see here from the results this model requires substantial unfolding time and as we see here IDD is better than G-code. The third model is 3D diffusion in space. Actually this model is a biological test case and this, is, uh, this model is scaled by the size of the grid. As we see here uh, also from the uh, unfolding results, we have uh, IDD is better than uh, G-code in uh, respect to unfolding time. The last model is processilator. Uh, this model is also scaled by the grid size. And also as we see here from the uh, unfolding results, uh, that the IDD is better than G-code and it uh, finishes more earlier than uh, G-code. Let's see who is the winner. Actually, there is no winner, but uh, G-code is recommended when we have models with a few guards or no guards and when we have models with simple color sets. For example, 12 MCC models which require no substantial unfolding time. And IDD is recommended when we have parameterized models with a large scaling factor, for example, diffusion and space. And also when we have models with sophisticated guards, for example, most models in our color vitrinet collection. You can also uh, access the complete performance support from uh, our website. Our tools are Snoopy, Marcy, and Spike. 
and Marcy and Spike can communicate with uh, Snoopy using candid format and all our tools can read PNML format. You can also download these tools from our uh, website. Our future work include performance criterion, which uh, considering the memory and power consumption, and also implementation efficiency uh, using multi-threading because unfolding the colored places and transition is currently done sequentially and reuse of already computed solutions and choosing among several variable ordering strategies. Thank you for your attention.